Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be from my second journaling Bible that I purchased. My first one was from my husband and my son and it was the Inspire Coloring Bible. But this one, I noticed that I started making a lot of mistakes in my Inspire Bible and it means so much to me that they bought it for me. So I decided to just get this one and this would be the Bible that I would use to just try out different things. I wouldn't be upset if I made a mistake. So some pages came out really nice, other pages I botched, but it's a definitely growing and learning Bible that I use and I would suggest that anyone starting out, if you can, get a journaling Bible that you just not going to worry about if it messes up, but you're going to just try as a process to learn and develop your Bible journaling skills in. Or like I've said before, a notebook or art journal works as well. So I'm just flipping through some of the pages. I do a lot of tip-ins. There's a Bible called the Interleave Bible where every other page is blank and I think that is so cool. But for those of us who don't have it, I use like full page tippins and journaling cards and those work just as well as a full page right there you can see as a full page spread I mean I'm sorry as an interleave Bible that has a full page that's empty so I'll just um, size up my tippin the same size as the page and I'll do a full page tippin so now what you're about to see right now is I've journaled on this particular verse in this page as you can see to the right and then behind it I have some pages that I had notes in so what do you do when you've already journaled that page or that particular scripture you add a tip in a full page tip in a half tip in you just add it to it and you design the page and develop it so I was reading Kay Arthur and I really liked her devotional and I'll read the content shortly. And so what I just want to do is I didn't write any notes on it because everything that she said was so perfect. And I just wanted to put that particular devotion in there. So I printed it on clear sticker paper and I stuck it on uh, some paper that was already in that Bible. And I just began to just kind of like decorate the tip in. So here's what a devotional says. And when you read devotionals, it's a great way to Bible journal. You can put the devotional right in your Bible or you can take notes on the devotion or just journal the, the scripture. So there are like many different ways that you get inspired through um, from the word of God. And Kay Arthur says, what will our day, I'm sorry, what would our daily lives look like when we give ourselves fully to God? Our words, our actions, our thoughts will reflect the heart and likeness of our holy God. Listen to Paul's instructions to the believers in Ephesus. Walk no longer just as the Gentiles also walk, in the futility of their mind. Lay aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lusts of deceit. I'm sorry. And put on the new self, which is in the likeness of God which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of truth. Ephesians 4, 17, verse, 20, verse 17, verse 22, and verse 24. She says, Paul wants us to understand that the old self is laid aside and that the new self is put on. The old self is all you were before you were saved. The new self is what you become once you are indwelt by the Holy Spirit of God. As new creations, children of God, we are expected to live righteously day in and day out. That really stuck out to me. When we don't choose to live in this way, we must confess our sins so the devil has no opportunity to wound us in our vital organs. Sin in a believer can become an open door to the enemy. Take heed, my friend. If you tolerate sin in your life, you'll open the door to one who has sinned from the beginning. And you'll find that sin will not only take you further than you wanted to go, but it will keep you longer than you intended to stay. Wow. Wow. That really, let me just read that again. With sin, you'll find that it will not only take you farther than you wanted to go, it will keep you longer than you intended to stay. And it will cost you more than you ever thought you'd pay. 
And that's the sin. Satan always presents to us the pleasure of sin, but he never shows us the pain. He never shows us the consequences for the choices for our pleasure. And we just many times just take it for granted that we can just do it and God will forgive us. And and, and he will when we are sincere in our confession. But we as believers, we don't tolerate sin in our lives because the spirit of God dwells within us. And we're not comfortable with sinning. And see, the world thinks that we think we don't sin. That's not it. We have a problem with sin. We have a problem with the sin in our own lives. People in the world do not care about what they do. They don't care what they say. They don't care about what they think. They don't care about how they carry themselves or anything like that. But when you are born again, you care about what God cares about. Holiness becomes the order of the day. And what would our day be like if God was a priority? If holiness was a way of life for that day? I know for sure my actions, my thinking, my treatment of others would be a lot different when I'm thinking about a holy God, when I'm taking off my old self and putting on the new self. That's something that I'm responsible for doing. His power is there. His spirit is there. But I have to choose to deny myself. Jesus said, deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. He didn't say, I'll deny uh, you for me. No, that's something that he wants us to choose on our own to do. So I hope you were blessed by the devotional and continue to be blessed by the declaration of this small tip in. It's a quick process and it's really simple to do. And basically all I'm doing is putting down take off and put on because I'm taking off the old sherry and I'm putting on the new sherry. I'm allowing the spirit of God to create within me this new person, person, (laughs) new person each day. God bless. So as you can see, I've added washi tape because I was talking earlier. I did add washi tape to add a little pizzazz to the page. I put a a, a strip of yellow washi tape so that it can accentuate the take off and the put on. And basically, I'm just decorating that part of the page so that it won't look so, so it wouldn't look so plain. And once again, it's just a tip in that actually I just put the uh, sticker on the back of a tip in that was already on that page. So I'm underlining the verses that I've read to you, which is Ephesians 4, 17, 22 and 24 is highlighting it. And I'm putting the arrow, trying to find a place for the arrow to point to the devotion because that's why I underlined the verse. And I'm just trying to fold the page so it can have a nice crease in. And I got my my, uh, Hobby Lobby stickers, and I'm just trying to just accentuate the page just a little bit. Wasn't trying to do a lot, because again, the devotional said it all. So now when I open up this Bible, I love opening it, because I can just read all my notes and all my thoughts. And thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you.